dangerous to, to generalize about the small to mid-sized business market because it in, can include all sorts of companies. The common definition is under 500 employees. I hear that one used a fair amount, but that, that in, could include a, a tech startup that has some fa fantastically talented people on staff dealing with you know, very large data pouring in from the web. It could also include a, a centrally old manufacturing company. So although we, we can't generalize there, what we're, what we're really talking about is the resource-constrained enterprise. And as I said, that, that might just as well be a department within a larger organization. But this is the organization that, that does not have a tremendous budget to throw around. They may not have staff with all the analytical skills that they might want constrained on time, money. Every organization is constrained on those things, but perhaps it's a bit more severe in the, uh, some of the, the crunched businesses. That's, that's what we're really talking about. So this is a fairly generic slide. We're trying to show you know, all the things that are involved or can be involved in doing BI in a large scale all these processes for gathering the data, scrubbing it, reconciling it, uh, doing master data management so that the, uh, things are referred to in, in common terms across different applications, getting it into that data warehouse, and then maybe breaking it down into more focused data marts that can make data available, building dashboards, doing trend analysis, uh, all, all these steps. And so this is really just repeating, repeating the same thing in text. But what if you don't have time for all that? Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that you can ignore those priorities. You, you probably you do need to pay attention to your data analysis and the, and the quality of your data. But there are times when you are crunched when you don't have time to time or resources to create the perfect architecture. And even organizations that have spent a lot of time and money trying to create the perfect architecture often find that there are holes in them. Now, when you don't provide a complete solution, what tends to happen is that employees turn to spreadsheets. And this is kind of the, the boogeyman of business intelligence is this idea of Excel hell, where people are using the wrong tool for the job. They're doing fragmented analysis. There are lots of different copies of the spreadsheet floating around the company that have different numbers in them. Uh, you know, the BI ideal is to have one version of the truth that uh, everybody can refer to uh, that is going to give us high quality analysis. But what we really need is something that maybe approaches the simplicity of Excel, but is more sophisticated. So I think of this in terms of shortcuts and trade-offs. It's a great idea to, to take advantage of that existing BI infrastructure where it's available, but sometimes you do need direct access to operational databases, so just, just to fill in the gaps. So one of the things you may want to do is seek out tools for rapid analysis of multiple data sources with the intelligence to do some of the analytic work for you. And you know, not, nothing is all that magical, but you can use visualization techniques to see your data rather than trying to sort through patterns and rows and columns. And I think our demo a little bit later will actually go through, through some examples of that. Thank you.